Hello designers, this is Rebecca from Atomic Graphics, and this video is about aligning text boxes in Canva that are not cooperating. So sometimes you may need to use a font that doesn't have an italicized option in that font family, but some of your text in your paragraph does need to be italicized. So what you'll do is enter your regular text in the first text box, and then whatever text needs to be italicized, you'll make a second text box for it, fill in that text there, and then we will choose a font that does allow us to italicize it. So we'll triple click here on this text to select all of it. Notice up here in my text menu, the italicized option is grayed out. So this Ser Source Serif Pro, for example, does not have an italicized option. So I'm gonna change this font by clicking on the font option here in the menu, and then choose a font that does have a uh, an italicized style. So I'll click on Droid Serif because it's a very similar font, but notice when I click on it, we now do have an italicized option. So I'll click on that I in the text box, in the, in the menu, menu along the top there to italicize it. Now I'm gonna move that by grabbing my little move tool there and bringing it on up. And I'm gonna zoom in by hitting Command Plus. And now we can see that this font, even though it's also a size 48, like this original text is a size 48, it's a little bit larger and that's normal with fonts. So I'm gonna uh, lower the size of it a couple times to see if I can get it close to the same height. I'm looking at my capital letters to see how close they are to each other and that looks good to me and then I'll just nudge it on over. So as you saw, as I'm moving around, it is automatically snapping the baseline of this new text box to the baseline of the original text box. If that's not quite happening for you, you can select one of the text boxes, hold down the shift key, click on the second text box to select them both, then go to position in the main menu and the arrange tab, and then you'll see your align elements. We wanna choose align to the bottom for this example because my italicized sentence is falling on the last line of text here. If it was to fall on the top line of text, you could try the top align there um, and you know so on. Now, we can still see that this italicized sample text is falling below, visually, uh, the line of text next to it. So even though the baselines are the same, the actual baseline of the text is not lining up. So the next thing that we can do is go to our rulers. We can activate our rulers by hitting Shift-R on our keyboards, or you can go to File, Settings, Show Rulers and Guides. And we're gonna create a manual guide by let's first deselect or it's gonna snap that guide to our um, bounding boxes here. So I'll just click outside of those two text boxes to deselect. We can even close this menu if we'd like. Then place your cursor up in that top ruler and just click and drag and it'll create a guide. And we wanna line that guide up along the bottom of our first original paragraph. We can hit Command Plus to zoom in even more if we need to. Now we're gonna grab this second text box here. It's gonna keep snapping to that baseline. It's not gonna to snap to our guide right now. So to get it to stop snapping, while we're holding down our mouse when we have that uh, text box selected, click the control button on your keyboard and then you'll see that it stops snapping and then you'll just align your flat bottoms uh, along that new guide there, okay? So if you were to click control first and then click on the text box, it'll act as a right clicking option and show you that right click menu. So you wanna make sure you have the text selected first with your mouse, don't let release the mouse, hold down the control button, and then you can move it freely. All right, I hope this helps. Thanks so much for watching.